Want to stitch before you switch to ArtGIS Pro? Then stay tuned to find out. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another tutorial. This isn't actually a tutorial, but more of a review slash discussion. So today we're kicking off a series on ArtGIS Pro by talking about a few things to know before you migrate to Pro, as well as a little comparison between ArtMap and ArtGIS Pro. Next week, I'll be starting my ArtGIS Pro tutorials and I'll have quick videos in between for little tips and tricks in ArtGIS Pro. First off, ArtGIS Pro is ArtGIS for desktop, meaning that it is advertised as being a part of the ArtGIS for desktop suite of products. So it's a desktop application. So you have ArtMap, you have Art Catalog, Art Scene, etc. And now you have ArtGIS Pro. The thing is though, it is still a separate installation from ArtMap and the rest, but it's still a desktop application. ArtGIS Pro allows you to connect or use the application in one of three ways, either by using a single use or concurrent license, just as you do with ArtMap now, or by using your ArtGIS online username. And remember, this has to be a subscription account. Just as with ArtMap Now, you have the advanced, standard, and basic version. Currently, I connect with my username, so I'm almost always totally reliant on the internet for ArtGIS Pro to perform at its best. You would think that, right? Well, one cool thing about that is that I can allow ArtGIS Pro to work offline even with my username, and I do like that feature. If that feature is not checked, then in the event that there are internet connection issues, you will have an extra slow performing application or it just crashes. You are allowed to import MXDs into ArtGIS Pro as either a map or a layout, but you can't open projects in ArtMap. Projects are one of the file types given to an ArtGIS Pro document. Another thing to add is that once you update a layout, once you update that MXD in ArtGIS Pro, when you open it in ArtMap, you won't see the changes. With all the buzz around about ArtGIS Pro and its 3D capabilities, I have to say it's all true. ArtGIS Pro allows you to work seamlessly in 2D and 3D pretty much at the same time. So now we don't have to take our work from ArtMap and then to ArtScene or ArtGlobe. And by the way guys, all this stuff that I'm showing you in this video, it will be a part of an upcoming tutorial. So just make sure to subscribe to watch these upcoming tutorials. There is a ribbon up top with the standard tab. And this kind of reminds me of Microsoft with the different tabs up top. And this kind of takes some getting used to, but mostly everything you need is up here. The interface is so much different, in a good way for me. And you don't need to add toolbars as you do in ArtMap. I'm staying neutral on this because for me, I've had the experience where I find it so much easier to use the ribbon. But I've also had the experience of having have to search all over the place for what would have been a part of a toolbar in ArtMap. I do have to add, however, that depending on what you select or what you are doing, then you will have additional tabs that will pop up up the top. It's almost like the toolbars in ArtGIS Pro turn on themselves automatically. When I create a new project in ArtGIS Pro, an associated geodatabase is also created. 
and you would have to map your data folders or geodatabases each time you create a new project. So for me, after a couple of times, I stopped creating new projects, unless it was for a special project, of course, and instead I just save over existing projects. So I would keep my data folders and geodatabases always mapped, always intact. Accessing the properties for almost everything in some cases is much easier. As soon as you click on the item, the properties pops up to the side. In most cases. Creating layouts are so much different. For instance, when adding your legend, then you need to select the layers that will be included from your table of contents. So here you'll be selecting it from a table of contents as opposed to in the legend properties. All of your map elements are included in your table of contents and I really like that feature because I have the ability to turn the elements on or off instead of moving it as we do in art. We don't have an identify button here. Instead, it's called explore. And it also took me a while to figure out that there's no search window in ArcGIS Pro as we do have in ArcMap, which was a game changer when it came out at 10. I can't say enough about the search window. It's probably my favorite feature in ArcMap right now. Don't get me wrong, you can still search for your tools and all of that in ArcGIS Pro but it's just not done in an actual search window. Instead, you go to the geoprocessing tool window. There are other small differences here and there. For instance, you can't add an attribute table to your layout. So right now, my workaround is either using ArtMap or inserting an image of the table. You can't calculate geometry. I do miss that. Now I need to add geometry, which is an actual tool that I have to run. And that's more of a downside for me personally, especially because that's something that I personally use a lot. And I don't want to add a new field each time. I just need to append the existing field. I just need to calculate the geometry as it is right now. 
So usually I go to ArtMap for that. There are times when I use the calculate geometry feature in ArtMap and I would get negative values. And if I remember correctly, it could be that the polygons were digitized in a counterclockwise direction or that the polygon features are self-intersecting. Whatever the case, it would still calculate in ArtMap. However, now in ArcGIS Pro, it will not calculate at all. It would just be null. So I would have to actually repair the geometry first and then try again. Another thing that happens to me personally sometimes is that when I'm using ArcGIS Pro to add a multiple base maps to a single layout, sometimes ArcGIS Pro crashes particularly when the base maps cover a large area. Like I said, it's not often, but it does happen. I hardly have this issue with art map. It's just slow there. I would say that overall, if you're comfortable using art map, I think you would be able to easily transition to ArtGIS Pro with some Googling and YouTubing here and there. I right now use both ArtMap and ArtGIS Pro, but I try to use ArtGIS Pro a little bit more often, especially since ArtMap will eventually phase out. As we did say though, that ArtMap will be supported for a long time after production stops. I think we've covered a bit today, so thanks for still being here. Make sure to subscribe to watch my first official tutorial on ArtGIS Pro where I set up my project, attach my data folders, my geodatabase, both a file and a multi-user geodatabase, and I get started with some editing. As usual, thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe, as well as share this tutorial with your friends or colleagues or anyone you believe would benefit from this information. Also, leave a comment below to let me know how are you liking the tutorial or if you have other tutorials that you would like to see. Thanks again and see you next time.